Thanks, Eric. I appreciate it. And we're fortunate enough now to be joined by Melissa Stockwell, who we just met in that story there from Erica, Eden Prairie native, a Rock War veteran. Tell us, first of all, Melissa, what that tribute today, what did that mean to you? Um, you know, I grew up or I went to high school in Eden Prairie, so I consider it my hometown. So being able to come back on Memorial Day and be part of the Eden Prairie Veterans Memorial and just kind of tell my story and just to say thank you to those other veterans that are from Eden Prairie, just it was pretty incredible. It meant a lot. And tell me a little bit, if you would, about your story. Um, you're an Iraq War vet. What happened? Um, back in April 13th of 2004, I was serving in the U.S. Army. I was on a routine convoy through central Baghdad, and the Humvee I was in was struck by a roadside bomb, um, which, to make a long story really short, resulted in the loss of my left leg above the knee, which is how I stand today. And what was that like? I mean, standing there or being there at that moment and then coming home and that experience, can you even describe that? Can you put it into words? Um, no, I mean, I'd gone 24 years of my life with both legs. Suddenly I'm missing one. So, um, you know, I got to Walter Reed, though, and I looked around and I saw people, so other wounded veterans missing two limbs, three limbs, four limbs, their eyesight and their traumatic brain injuries. And I really considered, considered myself one of the lucky ones. And um, I, was, I was given the gift of life. Mm -hmm. And just I've kind of lived my life that way for, since then for those that haven't come back at all. Just, I just feel very lucky that, of where I am. And, and do you feel, and obviously today on Memorial Day, mm -hmm. everybody saying thanks uh, for those who serve, rightfully so. Do you find in any way that there is a disconnect between those who serve and the families of those who serve and the American public, many of whom aren't connected in any way with what's happening abroad? Um, you know, I don't know, maybe for some people, but I think, I mean, a lot of times someone may not believe the war is the right thing, but they support the soldiers, sure. and that's what's important. So, I mean, whether I think today is the day you go around, you say thank you to anyone who has served our country, sacrificed anything, and a lot of times that thank you can mean more than any other awards that they've actually gotten. So, yeah. um, whether they've served or not, I think just really appreciating the soldiers and thanking them, especially today, is just what means a lot. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. You're a Paralympian, you're a motivational speaker, website. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with you these days. Yeah, so I currently live in Chicago. I work for a company, prosthetic company, that fits other amputees with artificial limbs. Um, along with a picture that, of you there. I tra oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I do other athletics as well. I train for triathlons. Um, I was a 2010 para triathlon world champion, so trying to keep that title this year. So busy training. I'm helping out with nonprofit organizations, the Wounded Warrior Project, um, started a paratriathlon club called Dare to Try in the Chicago area. Wow. So just, I don't know, various things that just kind of keep, keep me going every day. Is there, where can people find you on the internet if they want to get involved? What's your website? Um, I do have a website. It's www.melissastockwell.com. Um, the, the organizations I am involved with and, and who have kind of helped me out along the way are also listed on there that they can find more out at. I want to ask you one more question before you go. And okay. first of all, thank you so much for being here. Is that there's probably a lot of people watching, listening to us speak and think, boy, I want to mm -hmm. do more. Uh, what can people do? Um, how can people help families and those who are involved in combat to just say thanks? Um, you know, to, to say thanks, there's organizations out there such as the Wounded Warrior Project. You go to their website, there's a list of programs, there's, there's a list of resources, there's ways to help financially, and you can just see the positive impact that they make in the soldiers returning. So just to kind of help financially or volunteer at a program or really just say thank you. Put that yellow ribbon on the back of your car that just to support our troops. That's where do you, little where do you get do. your inspiration? Um, you know, I, I look towards my family and friends that have kind of kind of supported me through all of this, but also through those, I mean, like I said, I was given the gift of life. Um, I came back. I lost a leg, but I'm, I'm living, and I'm living proof that you can make it through a traumatic in instance like that. So, uh, you know, I look to those that may not have made it back and who gave the ultimate sacrifice and just want to live my life as they would have. Melissa Stockwell, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank and you. Course, I thank you for it. your service. Thank you. We really appreciate you. Thank being you very here. much. Thank you so much. Well, coming up, it is. Uh